This past weekend I was able to get some photos of the sky from a, a nice dark site on the central coast of California. And I thought I'd put together a, a guide to help people find some of the summer constellations. I don't draw out the full constellations, but mainly the stars that'll be easily visible to somebody who's just going out and getting a look at the sky. The other things that I want to mention with these, this guide is that, first of all, it's for kind of middle latitudes in the northern hemisphere, basically the, the continental U.S. and similar latitudes. Now, some of these constellations are visible elsewhere. For instance, Sagittarius and Scorpius are going to be nearly overhead if you're in the southern hemisphere at this time of year. But the, the views I'm getting here are from, like I said, which we get from, say, the continental U.S. The other thing is that <clears throat> I mention Jupiter, I point out Jupiter on the, the charts here, and so this is really only good for 2007 or any 12 years after this. If you're following the Chinese zodiac, it's the year of the boar or the year of the pig. So if you're in a year of the boar or of the pig, then, then this will work fine because that's where Jupiter will be. Otherwise, Jupiter will move along the zodiac uh, or along the ecliptic and won't show up in the place that it shows up in, in this guide. If you want to get a look for where the brighter stars are that I listed, I'll list the website here, and I suppose I'll also list it over to the side there. Um, but skyviewcafe.com has a free Java-based planetarium. It will run straight in your browser. You don't have to download anything if you have Java, and most people do. Um, you just put in the time, the date, and your location on Earth, and it will show you what the sky looks like for that time. So it's, uh, it's very handy, and I think it would be good for kind of combining with what I'm showing here as a, a way to get familiar with the night sky. So, enjoy.